I like about the project is that that we necessary all of us here we don't really know about all the people who died but this way we get to know each one of those people individually and know what they were like what were their goals what were their dreams maybe some of them were like us maybe we might have been close to where they were killed or stuff like that and we get to know how do when someone passed um, through a way that might not be the best, how do their family members deal with it and stuff like that. And making remembrances for people that I might not have known, I think it's pretty cool because I get to know what the person was like. How do you think this project is going? Um, I think that it's it's go, getting a little slow, but um, it's going a little. It's like getting there, and I feel like uh, it can like really get the message out there that people died last year. Because um, I know people that like I don't I don't know any people, but people that have like, lost someone from the homicide um, must feel bad now, and must have felt worse back then, but still they like, probably feel the same. And it's just. Um, I, I, I think this will like make them know that like New Haven has 34 homicides and still try to keep it like we're not as a bad city as people who we say we are. Like um, people when people come to New Haven, they're like, oh, we think it's all bad, like they shoot us and all that. But no, New Haven's a really great place if you really get to think about it. Because um, it's just the people there are very nice. Well, well, not all of them, but some of them, you know, most of them are really nice. They're not really like assholes or anything. There are really people who can like you can trust, and uh, I think just New Haven is a really good place. Um, out of this project, I think it can get it can give voice to the people on the streets, um, telling them that this person died on this date and saying, um, to try to keep it like, to tell them like who died. And try to maybe stop it, maybe not stop it, but prevent it from happening. You can never stop gun violence, but still. And we'll see. Why are so why are guns so dangerous to the community? Why are people because killing they people? Kill people? No, guns don't kill people. People kill people. Because people decide to pick up guns and kill people. Oh, okay. Guns don't have a mind of their own. They don't I just, just shoot said off. People, people use to pick the. Them up. <laughs> Hello, Heron, Kelly, Kelly, Kells. I feel that this can make a lot of change. I feel that this can actually, actually it's actually coming along successfully. Um, and also, I feel like it can a lot, it can change a lot of people view, views on how New Haven it, New Haven is all together. That's why you said that. There was a. 34 deaths in uh, you know New Haven last year, and uh, a chance to see people who passed away and like their point of view on things, and it's just like to remember them. And I just feel I feel like this is a great thing because it'll actually make, it'll make people realize that gun violence is bad. So yeah. How you doing, sir? Right. Um, what do you like about the project? Well, I like that it's getting people like involved in kind of the issue, and I really enjoy getting to work with the youth at Youth Rights Media to make this happen because it's their community, you know, it's uh, the people that they know and, you know, that are just live, all live in the same neighborhood, so I'm excited to get people actually being able to do something about that issue and not just, you know, kind of accept it as this is what happens, so. What is the project about? Uh, well, the project is really cool, in my opinion, because it, it's about recognizing that people who are killed and who are victims of homicide are more than just victims. And they're more than, more than just numbers and more than just statistics, you know, that, um, you know, hap that this sort of thing happens to their real people who have real lives and, you know, real stories to tell. And, you know, sometimes you wonder, where are they now? Well, you know, this is a way of remembering who were they. And, and maybe think about who they could have been also. Might not have. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, it's a, sometimes remembering these things is really hard for some people. And so...